What's up guys, YST here and welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. And just a short one today, as I was just live on stream and I seen a notification pop up and I was late to see it about some new guaranteed champion events starting this week. So in this video, I'll be breaking down those champions and when they're going to be starting and my first thoughts on those champions as well. So this Tuesday, November 8th, summon champions using Ancient Shards while the event is active and you are guaranteed to get the champion Duoden the Runic on your 40th Ancient Shard. So it's not a legendary as we all kind of hoped for, as we was highly expecting one to pop out anytime now, right? And there might actually still be one to come out, so I'm not too sure what to think about this. But it is a Sylvan Watcher. And he looks really badass, like I love the aesthetics, but how does the kit replicate here? So attacks one enemy, has a chance of removing one random debuff from all allies on his A1. So a 60% chance once booked. So pretty solid A1, I must say. Uh, protected, I can't see that second one there, but AoE places a shield buff on all allies for two turns, equal to 15% of this champion's max HP and increases the duration of all buffs on all allies by one turn. Now this is a really strong A2, and it's on a 4 turn cooldown, which is my only downside of this. If this was on a 3 turn, we'd see a lot more impact in my personal opinion. But, really nice there. With the Lure of Fools, places a taunt buff, so that new buff that's come into the game, on this champion for one turn, and places a 25% strength and counter attack on this champion for two turns. So it could make for a good mischief tank potentially, but just makes him an overall solid tank champion and it'll be great for the faction wars in the near future. I haven't had much playtesting with him as of now, so I can't speak about how great he is in game. But you guys let me know, is this somebody that you'd be willing to summon 40 Ancient Shards for? I don't know, I'll leave that down to you guys, but I still believe that we are expecting a legendary one, so I'm not sure to say summon like kind of save your shards for that or use the 40 now it just really comes down to your preference i guess yeah but it's good to kind of have these sylvan watches for the future for the faction wars but right if you didn't want to summon that champion and you wanted to save up on your ancient shards on wednesday in november 9th so one day afterwards the summon champions using void shards while the event is active and you are guaranteed to get the champion White Dryad Nia for your 30th Void Shard. Now this champion on the other hand is outstanding. And this is somebody I think is worth 30 Void Shards 1000%. I was actually screaming. I was like, in the video I did with Nub Raids, I really wish she becomes a guaranteed champion. And here she is. And I've got no Void Shards. So what am I going to do? I don't know, but this champion is remarkable, and I would put her in a game changer category. AoE decreased speed on a 50% chance. This is Chris A1 for an epic champion. Great for Hydra, great for progression. On this one here, has a full out cleanse and a heal on a target ally, and resets the cooldowns of two turns of that target skills. So people like Geomancer, um, Revive Champions, uh, Provoke Champions, whatever skill you want to get up, she's able to reset those cooldowns and keep that consistent for you. So really, really strong. Also an ally protection and a small version of the strengthen on a free turn cooldown to keep your champions under sustainability. And whenever this champion is healed, heals each ally except this champion by 20% of that heal. So that is the two champions for the guaranteed events that we've been notified on. And if I was to go for either of the two, this is the one that I would be going for if I had the Void Shards available. Great Universal Champion and a Queen of Hydra Boss. And I have a video out on her if you want to check her out before making that decision. So yeah, um, quick little video guys. That is going to be all for the video. If you didn't enjoy it, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I have to get this one done pretty quickly to get it out on time. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.